Hi, Cancer. I am here to do your October reading. So let's get an overall energy. See what's going to be with you for the month. Okay? And remember, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Okay? Beautiful. It's a new beginning. You have brilliant ideas that may need a little refinement. Overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. It's a new challenge. All right. Now, let's see what the spirit animals would like to share with you for the month of October. One more. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. Okay. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more complete picture. Now, this is something new that I'm starting. This is all about love, and it's all kinds of love. Romantic love, family, friends, self. And we're going to take a card to see if there's anything that they would like to share that might show up during the month, okay? Let's see if I can get this. Ah, the union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. There might possibly be a wonderful romantic relationship connection, potentially, which would be wonderful. And if you're already in one, it would be wonderful to kind of reignite it. And this last one is about money, finances, career. If there's something that might show up for you during the month of October or have meaning for you. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Okay, that's absolutely beautiful. Okay, now let's get some cards and see what we have. And do remember, time is fluid. I put a time frame on here, the month of October, but that doesn't mean that's where it begins and ends because it is fluid. It's more like a stream. Okay, so if you find this at another time, there might very well be something in it for you. The chariot, very strong energy. You have your mind set on something, somewhere you want to go, something you want to achieve, something along those lines. And this card is a very strong card, and it says you are going to get there. Now, these sphinxes do not have reins on them, so you can veer a little this way, a little that away, but you will get right back on point and go to where it is that you have planned on going. It really is a strong energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. Another very nice card, Judgment. 
This is saying that you are going through a spiritual awakening. Rise up. You are tuning into a higher frequency. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay, we had a couple jump out. We have the world, which is a successful completion of a cycle and the beginning of something new. There's a victory wreath around her. That is the successful completion of whatever cycle you're completing. And of course, the beginning of something new. And here... You already have the beginning of something new. So you're getting this. They're different, but twice they're mentioning it. And here is an energy. Um, you could say it's like give and take. It is sharing with others and or others sharing with you. It's a very nice energy. Okay. Now at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. And what that is saying is that there was something that was troubling you terribly. Swords are thoughts. Now thoughts can come from things. They can come from fears, anxieties, you know, numerous, numerous things. But Bottom line is they are thoughts, okay? And you had such troubling thoughts that it's created an ending. And now here, you have the equivalent of the Ace of Swords, a new beginning. It's a Swords energy, but it is a brand new beginning, and it's like brilliant ideas, okay? So, but it does not surprise me that you have an ending because you have a new beginning right here and a completion of an old cycle, which creates a new beginning. Now, the one thing that I would have to add to this, though, is whenever you have swords like that, you might very well need to take time to heal. Okay? Okay. And if you need to take time to heal, then take time to heal. It's very important that you don't just shove it down somewhere just for it to creep its little self back up later. Even if you have to take one sword at a time. Heal from that, okay? It's important. And that doesn't mean you have to put yourself in a corner somewhere and force yourself into trying to heal today. That's not what that means, okay? It just means over time, when something surfaces, work through it and release it, okay? Transmute that energy. Okay, let's see what else we get. Go a little bit deeper. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. It all will help the channel to grow, and I would appreciate it very much. Okay. Well, this would be expected. Death. Which is uh, the harsher way of saying transformation. Okay? So we kind of know... Transformation, transformation, transformation. This is a very transformative reading. This is a transformation, you know? So, yes, you are changing out of one energy and going into a new energy. And it's a very nice energy indeed. Okay, this is very 
fast moving positive energy. So I would say that's coming in after you end this cycle and start your new cycle. Okay? So be prepared. You might have a lot of positive things coming in quickly. Two of Wands. This is an energy of you know where you want to go. See, this is the world. You're holding the world in your hand. You know where you want to go. You are just planning on how you want to get there. And I would definitely think that that is coming at the beginning somewhere of your new beginning. Mm-hmm. I would, it has a potential to be, okay, this is dead, done, and over with this. Well, that's what they call a start. And figuring out your new start. But I definitely think dead, done, and over with, you know, it's done. So you're getting a new start. So I would say this comes somewhere not too far after the transformation into your new beginning. Okay, let's get one more. Beautiful. Another new beginning. I think the universe is trying to tell you something here. <laughs> definitely. This time frame is definitely transformative for you. Okay? <laughs> definitely. And um, the Ace of Cups is a very happy, joyous, love-filled beginning. It's a wonderful beginning a wonderful type beginning to have. Um, you have the equivalent of the Ace of Swords, which is a new challenge. And like right here, it says, brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Well, typically when somebody has a brilliant idea or a new idea, it will need some refinement. It, but this one is happiness, joy, and bliss. Creative opportunities are abundant. There may be a new love, friendship, or art projects that are available to you right now. So these are, a lot of these are kind of weaving in together, which I think is awesome. Not surprising, but awesome. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Pentacles. And to me, that comes after your new beginning somewhere, because what this talks about is whatever your wonderful idea is, or whatever this new beginning is, you are finally honing it. You know, you're well, right here. May need refinement. So that's exactly what this is. You've taken, or are going to take, this idea or whatever this new thing is, and you're just going to repeat it and repeat it and, you know, switch it up a little that kind of thing. Tweak it until you come up with what you consider to be the very best product or end result that you can have. So it's one of repeating and repeating, not just the same thing, but, you know, refining and improving. Kind of like what this card says right here. So, this row is, or not row, column, is kind of interesting to me because it tells the story. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement, okay? New beginning. Comes right after this hard ending. And you're refining, just like it says here, your ideas. But let's quickly cover this. There's actually not a lot to cover because a lot of it <laughs> says the same thing, only different. New beginning. 
brilliant ideas that may need refinement, overcoming obstacles, okay, with faith that everything will work out. All right. And it also does mention though, communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. Okay. Here, know your own worth. And yeah, you, you should take that um, and use that because that is important to know your own worth. Maybe that was part of the problem here. You didn't have belief in yourself or maybe someone didn't have belief in you, however that was, but it bothered you to the point of an ending. Um, if you take a look through here, everything except for this one thing, is a wonderful energy. So some of these cards might be relating to you, the cause, in, you know, in a way, like, like this one, know your worth. And here, maybe that was the problem. You didn't have enough faith in yourself. Here, the union of hearts, a love connection defies explanation. Absolutely beautiful. You might meet the love of your life if you don't already have that, you know, that in your life. Down here, a win-win outcome is forecast. And I can easily believe that. You have new beginnings everywhere. <laughs> okay. Here, I believe this comes after your new beginning. You, well, You know, unless it could either be part of your new beginning or it could be that you know your worth and you said enough is enough. I am done. Because this is a very strong energy. Okay, very strong. And you know where you want to go. So it is possible that this was the driving force to create this ending. You know, it's possible. It is also possible that this is a driving force to get you started on your new beginning. Now, a lot of this, or all of this at some point, you will know if you don't already know. Okay, here is death, which is just another way of saying transformation. Out of one energy into another. Judgment. A huge spiritual uprising. You are tuning into a new frequency, which in a sense to me is a new beginning. Very fast moving, positive energy. The world, a successful completion of an old cycle. Two of Wands, you know where it is you want to go. You're just planning on how to get there. So maybe this comes just before this. Here, the give and take. You want to share, others want to share with you. Here, the Ace of Cups, a beautiful, joyous, happy new beginning. Here, finally honing whatever this new thing is of yours. Okay, so if we put this in some sort of order, of course, um, a win-win forecast or outcome is forecast. Um, that's about the financial side of things. But I can tell you, all energies, like I was talking about being in a state of flow, these all blend in together. They work together. Okay, so definitely could be career, money. It could also, you know, come on over into the rest of this. We know a win-win outcome is going to happen because of all these beautiful new beginnings and everything in this reading, with the exception of this one thing. And maybe all this is actually saying is it's a hard ending. It could very well be one that you yourself create, not one that's just thrown at you. 
you know, you might have decided, that's it, I'm done, this is too hard, not okay. All right? So, you have this ending, which creates all of these new beginnings. This new beginning, brilliant ideas that may need refinement. New beginning of love, happiness, and joy. Successful completion of that, which means a new beginning. The death card, which is transformation, the end of one cycle and the beginning of another one. Okay, so this one little card here sure brought about a lot of other cards. <laughs> okay, and so here you sit with this brand new beautiful beginning. One of exciting, new, brilliant ideas, happiness and joy. Oh, and this one, spiritual uprising. The transformation, completion of the cycle, beginning of a new one. Okay, so we're, we're moving on. It's fast-moving energy. You, just, you know where you want to go. You have all these ideas. It's the beginning. You have it figured out. You just are trying to figure out how to get there. So here's your chariot. Driving force, definitely. You know where you're headed. And you're going to get there. So I think this probably came first. Then this. I say came. That's past tense. This might not have happened yet. Okay. Very fast moving positive energy. And that could be related to the chariot because the chariot positive moving and pretty fast so maybe this is just saying you are going double time okay so you go through this and you kind of settle down just a hair and you start refining this new beginning of yours and you want to share okay it's beautiful this whole thing. And remember, the win-win outcome is forecast. I think that does have to do with finances, but I also think it has to do with this new beginning of yours. Know your worth. Believe in yourself. That's huge. You need to do that. And this is the one that I find really intriguing. If you don't already know somebody... You might very well meet somebody that ends up in a very important relationship. And if you do already know them, maybe it goes deeper. Okay, let's get some cards from the universe to see what they would like to contribute. This is such a transformative time for you. Okay, this kind of twisted its way out. The hangman. To me, that would come before the two of wands. Potentially before the ending. But somewhere early on, or late in you know this cycle, you go into the hangman mode to figure out how you want to go forward. You put yourself there to gain enlightenment on the next steps to take. Okay, so I believe it's before this energy. All right. Come on, old cards. Balance. You um, need balance or you are establishing balance. Balance has got something to do with this energy, okay? It could be potentially that there was no balance here and you needed it, had to have it. It could also be that this change is creating balance for you. And, you know, there's a, also a chance, too. I see two other cards where it might apply. 
the scales. What are they? Balance. So it could be referring to that, that this is a win-win outcome. And also here, this to me looks extremely balanced. Beautiful energy. So it either applies to the reading as a whole, you know, at some point, or maybe one of those. Let's get one more card. Okay, looky here. <laughs> Another death card. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just every time I see the word death, I'm thinking, wow, that's such a hard word. Okay. It is just the universe's way of confirming this reading. It's saying, I meant what I said. Okay. You are definitely transforming out of one energy and into another energy, which, yes, we definitely can see that here. So it looks like your month of October, maybe before and quite possibly after, is going to be filled with much transformation. You're going to be going out of a negative cycle right here. What And you would know, I do not know. And into a beautiful new beginning of something. One that's filled with brilliant ideas, okay? Quick moving, happiness and joy. It's going to be an exciting time, I think. And potential for either a new or really enhanced relationship and positive for money. So it's beautiful. Okay, now... I want to give you a Divine Doors card. I don't pull these out too often. I love them, though. They're wonderful. And I thought this would be a great time to do it. Maybe I should use them more. Okay, one more. What do we have here? Heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness. A new day starts. Let light embrace the healing heart. Well, now, how beautiful is that? So I'm not sure where this would apply. Here? Or here? Probably here. But it could be either or. Like I said, if you're already in a relationship, maybe this is... What's bringing you closer? But I think it's probably there. Okay, let's get a charm. And I never look, so I never know. It's always a surprise. You have a book. Okay. Let's see. How would a book apply? Hmm, maybe this must be telling you you need to learn. There's something in here that you are going to need to learn about. Something probably with your new beginning where you are going to need to learn how to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Okay? We'll take one more, though. Just to see. What's this say? It says friendship. Okay. I do know that if you're that in love, you have to be friends. But I can see many places in here where friendship would play part. Okay, so learn, maybe learn about friendship. Okay, thank you so much. It looks like you're going to have a very busy month and a very transformative one. 
Okay, much love. Bye.